Well, it's it's a little over 40 years since I started um, working in in advisory work. When I first started, we had no mobile phones, we had no internet, no computers. Most of the roads were either gravel roads or single lane bitumen. It's been a really good ride, and I think equally there's going to be just as big a change as going forward for young agronomists that are starting out now. Over the years, we've employed a lot of young agronomists. I suppose there's a few things that stick out to me as to um, things that they can do to, to really um, help develop their careers. Agronomists need to have a good understanding of the science, attending GRDC updates or conferences, workshops, field days, and that's just an ongoing process because there's new information coming all the time. Young agronomists are often going to be um, faced with difficult conversations to have with, with clients. It's important that they have some idea of how to handle those conversations. If it's of a personal or a business nature, sometimes really handy to, to ask permission to have that conversation, either at the time or at some other time, and often people will appreciate the fact that you've asked for permission to talk to them about it. Conversing with other agronomists our age or just emerging into the industry as well, uh, just figuring out what actually is relevant, what to focus on at the beginning and what to focus on as your career goes on as well is yeah, really helpful. We've got a lot of challenges in front of us, um, environmental and profitability wise and it, it's there's a lot of changes coming along. Uh, it's a very exciting industry and I think it's uh, it's a tremendous in industry for young agros to, to sink their teeth into.